हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज रंजीत भोसले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एम बी डिपार्टमेंट के आई डीज आई एम आर कोल्हापुर टुडे वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट बी टू बी टारगेटिंग एंड पोजिशनिंग दैट इज द थर्ड लेसन ऑफ फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ बी टू बी मार्केटिंग इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव सीन वट एग्जैक्टली इज बी टू बी सेगमेंटेशन एंड टूडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग अबाउट टारगेटिंग एंड पोजिशनिंग बी टू बी टारगेटिंग इज आइडेंटिफाइंग योर टारगेट ऑडियंस सो इफ यू नो वट इज योर ऑडियंस यू कैन अचीव सक्सेस वेरी इजिली either audience segments or specific companies you want to do business with well it is a really very simple concept but as well as challenging for any b2b marketer implementing a lead gen campaign good targeting is really very important a great targeting strategy is nothing but which is informing messaging and the direction of resources and budget you so you can present compelling persuasive content to right decision makers so passing that message to the right person in b2b is really very important given its importance in the whole scheme of marketing campaign it is a process that you have got to feel pretty confident in because if you lose confidence you lose the whole organization and not only the person let us go with the industry lookout what exactly you need to emphasize on the first thing what industry you are trying to reach based on your products and services which kind of industry you want to target the second one what major pain points your product or service solve for them so what kind of solutions you are providing to them and that can be a service or a product from your side who specifically specifically by title are you trying to reach in chosen industry do the people with your preferred titles have the ability to sign off or sign on expenditures or does it require green light for someone someone else so this is one of the major thing that you need to consider because the person whom you are meeting is the decision maker or not if the person is decision maker definitely you are meeting the right person how long is the average sales cycle because in b2b you are not going to go for advertising and marketing all the time once the customer is been tapped it should be for a longer time what will it take for you to be established as a thought leader in your eyes of your prospect the last one how does what you are offering improve upon the best what the competition is offering so it's about what you are serving and what your competitors are serving if you'll just answer these question you will get the right customer for a longer time and which will save a lot of amount of money to go for marketing b2b segmentation basically leads with two steps one is targeting and positioning your targeting is made easy by having b2b intended data buyers personas which are dedicated only for b2b and in today's world ai for b2b marketing so this will help you to make your targeting process very easy to have better b2b positioning the product itself will be the major aspect then the buyer persona that you have for b2b and as your customers definitely your competitors because these competitors are going to help you to provide better services and solution to your customers let us go with the stp model the stp stands for segmentation targeting and positioning s stand for segmentation which is classifying your prospect or customers into different categories based on specific criteria and triads which we have seen in the previous video targeting is nothing but business to understand which of the segments are most likely to convert so those will be your targets positioning is the last step the first two steps should be able to signal your business as how to set your product or service apart from position apart from apart from your competition and that is nothing but your positioning let us go with the next part and that is nothing but industrial customers business customers or industrial customers are nothing but purchase products or services to use in the production of other products such as industries which will include agriculture manufacturing organization construction organization transportation and logistics and communication among others the market tend to have fewer and larger buyers so definitely this b2b market will have fewer buyers but these large these buyers will be very huge this often result in closer buyer seller relationship because those who operate in a market must depend more significantly on one another for supply and revenue so these businesses will go hand in hand 
demand for business goods is derived demand which means it is driven by a demand for consumer goods so definitely there should be demand from the consumer goods then and then only we can have better industrial customers let us go with what are types of industrial products the first one capital goods capital goods consist of installation and accessory equipments building plants and many more things the second one is raw material this raw material are nothing but industrial goods that will be used in making of other products included in this category like natural resources such as forest products mineral water etc then is component parts unlike raw materials component parts are the products which are used as capital goods itself the in major equipments major equipments will consider your machinery like typewriters computers tools equipments etc accessory equipment this will have shelving and storage material which will definitely lower cost in your b2b then is operating supplies including operating supplies like office stationery repairs maintenance etc and services which will include maintenance repair services in your factory premises might be cleaning might be your equipment repair consultancy services and many other allied things so let us go with the reflection spot what does stp stand for this is a very easy answer stp stand for segmentation targeting and positioning thank you